Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to jump back with our tkenter series. So, all right, today we are going to look at the T TTK button grid method. So, all right, <clears throat> before we had learned how to uh, bring in and use geometry or configure to get the size of our window. Well, this time we are going to let the buttons uh, align themselves and match up to get the size window we need and we'll deal with this later. So that's why it is so important that you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because we have these videos build upon another. So all right. And to keep this relevant and uh, a little bit more exciting, uh, we, uh, we're actually going to build a calculator. So we're going to take all the skills that we've learned and mash them together and start to actually build some stuff so we can visualize it. So all right, let's just go and do our standard uh, TK, TK, and then when title, I can't even remember if it's capital, no. And calculator, calculator. All right. Then uh, win dot main loop. Okay. And boom, and here we go. So, all right. Pretty boring right there. So as you see, we don't we don't have our geometry. We don't have our configure. So we are going to learn about how grid works. So grid actually takes care of all of this for us. So, all right. So we are going to leave out the entry window. That has its own problems. We're just going to work on some buttons. So we're going to start at the top. Button 7, TTK dot button. Then what's it associated with? And then the text. This is going to be number seven. Now here's where it gets uh, button seven grid. Now let's bring this in, and then we'll look at it. Grid row one column. I spell column right. Yep, column zero. All right, let's bring this in and look at it. Oh, cool. Okay, so here's our button. So see how it's sized down for us and everything? Now let's, since we have that in here, let's look at help dot button underscore seven grid, because that's our button object, right? All right, whoa, here we go. So we're going to use almost all of these column row uh, we'll get to sticky later and kind of associate column span that's pretty much all we're all we're going to use so let's just go ahead and head down so we'll do the top the top keys oops all right, seven, eight, nine. So now if you think about it, we're gonna have rows and columns, right? So let's go over these. And we'll go over real slow, like we always do. All right, so row's gonna be the same, column's gonna be different. One, two. Let's look at it. So, here we are. Row one, column zero, one, two. So now, now let's, uh, let's copy this. Then let's do four. So then zero, two. So this is everything in 
the second row. I'm not a big fan of copying and pasting. You know that. But this is a lot. So then four, five, six. So then change accordingly. Five, six. Missed one. Five, six. All right, so we got our rows two and one, two. All right, let's check and make sure we're going in the right direction. Here we go. Seven, eight, nine, four, five, six. So as you can see, we'll do one more, and then <clears throat> what I want you to do is practice We'll do the last one. Let's do here. So then what's left? Three. Three. And then we need to change the row to three. Yep. So I'll have a challenge here for you a second so we don't bore everybody to tears. Two, one, and then fix the column. One, two, and corresponding two, two, one, one. All right, run and save. All right, as you can see, you get the general idea. So, what I want you to do is I want you to add a fourth row where it is here. I got this over here so you can't see it. Here. So I have this running in another editor. This is what, don't worry about, this is the final result and we'll deal with this and this. But I want you to add these and this bottom row. So I want row four and add a fourth column. And we'll look at the code and I'll show you next time. And then I want then we're gonna learn how to have a button go the length of the window and then a text input the length of a window. And if you get fancy enough, you'll see that I have this over here. It defaults over here. So we'll learn all of this. But this is right now, there's zero functionality. And then we also have to think we got a way to whoa, make it so it only takes in numbers. So we have a lot to do, but we can do it and we'll get there. So, oh, and fix my problem. Look what I did here. This is what I did when I was building it <laughs> uh, just here recently for the notes. So we need to flip these. I got this backwards. It needs to go one, two, three. So just flip these. So, all right, there we go, guys. Please drop any comments, questions or any video requests below, and I will get right to them. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Hey, guys, thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us, and we hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.